Like and subscribe now, or you're going to have bad luck this week. We are unable to comprehend how deep the deep sea really is. Just to give an idea how deep, scientists know more about the universe than our own oceans. So it is okay to be afraid of those marine waters. Who knows what lurks down there? From ancient sunken cities to mysterious statues, let's take a look at 10 terrifying objects found in the deep sea. Number 10, Truck Lagoon. Let's start with one of the most horrific events in Japanese history, Operation Hailstone. Other than the atomic bomb, this attack on Japan Japan was one of the most fatal blows by Americans. It happened in February 1944, but between the 17th and 18th of February, aerial attacks, surface engagements, and submarine attacks brought devastation upon anything Japanese on and near truck, which was the main place getting attacked. The most damaging aspect was a loss of 270 aircraft. For that, they had been the force that checked back American shipping. Japanese naval losses were also significant. A total of 191,000 tons of shipping was destroyed. The vehicles sank off the coast of the Caroline Islands in the South Pacific over the course of two brutal days in 1944. Referred to as Japan's Pearl Harbor, the event killed thousands of soldiers and the wreckage remained undiscovered until the legendary Jacques Cousteau explored it in the late 1960s. Today, it's called Truck Lagoon and it's just one of many of the world's most bizarre tourist attractions. Number 9. A Lost City of Heraclean well, lost cities aren't completely unheard of, especially if you're familiar with Greek mythology. Think Atlantis, but as mentioned, this is all fictional, and the idea of an ancient city being buried under the sea remained far-fetched until just recently. In 2000, Egyptians ran into the ruins of a real-life ancient city near the canopic mouth of the Nile. That's about 2.5 kilometers into the Mediterranean Sea and about 10 meters below the surface. The city is probably one of the most prominent mentioned by ancient ancient writers and historians such as Strabo, Herodotus, and Diodorus. In the Egyptian antiquity records, it is referred to as Thonis, while the Greeks called it Heraclean. That's why, at one point, historians believed these two names refer to two different cities. In its heydays, the city served as a trading port, with its significance increasing in the late period of ancient Egypt, when it doubled up as a place for tax collection. It's believed that Heraclean grew increasingly weak due to earthquakes and tsunamis along with rising sea levels. Number 8. A UFO-Shaped Object Are you one of those peoples that believe in the existence of extraterrestrials? If yes, then you might also believe that the object found in the Baltic Sea in 2014 is actually a UFO. An article was published on the 10th of December 2014 that claimed that a UFO-shaped object had been discovered in the depths of the Baltic Sea. So did the extraterrestrials actually visit us? But how did their UFO get left behind in deep waters? Was there some accident involved? There are so many unanswered questions around this anomaly. If the object is actually a UFO, then there is a possibility of the existence of aliens in the Baltic Sea as well. But is it really an alien ship, or is there some other history behind the mysterious object? Scientists and researchers have concluded that it is believed that the disc-like object is nothing more than a piece of rock. Although the origin of the piece of rock is still unknown, there are assumptions that it is related to a meteor. Number 7. Underwater Statue Park The ocean is one of the most incredible exhibition spaces an artist could ever wish for. These are the words of a famous artist, Jason Dakar Taylor. He has has made sculptures that are unlike anything you have ever seen. Close to the coast in Mallory Bay in Granada, there is an underwater sculpture park. This was actually created by Jason in 2004. It started only with a few statues at first, but with time and more popularity, the park continued expanding and the statues continued multiplying. Another park was created at the coast of Cancun, but divers noted something extraordinary about this park. The statues were fascinating and they have organisms literally growing on them. It is one hell of an idea for an underwater park. Dubai must be looking to copy this idea too. Number 6. The Oldest Computer Kids these days, am I right? 
they're never gonna know how uncommon computers were back in the good old days. <sighs> I feel old just saying that. But it's true, computers were not that common prior to the 90s. Now, did you know when the oldest computer was invented? Well, apparently it was around 2,000 years ago. At the beginning of the 20th century, a group of fishermen came across a shipwreck at the bottom of the sea. It was found off the coast of the Greek island called Antikythera. Finally, in 1902, the ship was excavated and people found what we came to know as the oldest computer ever. The device we call the Antikythera mechanism is an analog device that helped people predict eclipses and other astronomical positions. Decades in advance, it sounds like whoever created this was way ahead of their time. I have just one question. Can it run Final Fantasy? Number 5. Orfish Orfish are the top contenders in the fish kingdom as far as size is concerned. At a length of roughly 8 meters at maturity, they're the longest bony fish alive today. You would expect that they're a common sight with such conspicuous body frames, but nope, they're deep sea swimmers and come in shallow waters only rarely. An oarfish swimming closer to the shore means it's most likely going to die, or in rare occasions, injured. That's why most of the oarfish that have been spotted near the surface are usually dead. To catch these beasts in their most real glory, you'll have to venture down between 200 and 1000 meters in temperate and tropical oceans where they frequent. At these depths, the currents are way weaker as compared to the surface waters. Number 4. A Giant Eyeball Our next item in this video wasn't really found deep in seawater by some diver. Rather, it was discovered on Pompano Beach in Florida, just lying there. This way, finding stuff on the beach is only natural, thanks to water currents moving back and forth. But something like a giant eyeball is sure to raise attention. The ball is said to have been the size of a softball, and whatever creature it belonged to must have been remarkably huge, and it has never been known up to this day. The guy who picked it up handed it to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, forwarding it to the Fish and Wildlife Research Institute for further studies. Scientists were speculating that the eyeball might have belonged to a large fish like a tuna, but according to National Geographic, the most likely owner of this big eye was a squid. Why? Squids generally have their eyes embedded in soft tissue, hence easier to detach. This was later disproved after it emerged that the eyeball was surrounded by a bony structure. This among other properties, like the color, has led scientists to believe that the eye once belonged to a swordfish and was probably cut out by a fisherman. Number 3. The Lost Mahabalapuram Pagodas The city of Pagodas is a historical city in present-day India that went missing. Because there is no scientific evidence that justifies the existence of this city, it is widely believed that the city was a myth. The idea that the existence of this city is a myth became outdated after the 2004 tsunami in India. The tsunami was notorious for claiming thousands of lives and as buildings collapsed and the ocean parted, something that the world had never seen before emanated from the deepest part of the ocean. Between the parted ocean, rock-like structures emerged, suggesting that people may have inhabited that area a very long time ago. After the tsunami, scientists launched an exploration, and their findings made us understand that the Mahabalapuram pagodas were, after all, not a myth. The ocean had swallowed the city. The whole world thought never existed. Number 2. Jason Voorhees Statue Horror fans prove time and time again that they're the coolest. The image of Jason chained up underwater is one of the most iconic in the Friday the 13th franchises, and one fan recently took it upon himself to bring it into the real world. Back in 2013, Doug Klein built and installed a statue of Jason Voorhees underwater at a popular diving site in Crosby, Minnesota. The original video uploaded to YouTube in 2014, but it went viral much much later in the year 2017. The Jason Voorhees statue isn't the only thing welcoming divers to Lake Pleasant. There's also a card table and chair set up with skeletons playing poker complete with waterproof cards. Christmas trees and even a Volkswagen are also present at the bottom of the lake, though nobody is taking credit for the car. Number 1. The Atlet Yam 
Sitting 10 meters below the Hafez coast, Atlet Israel is an 8,900-year-old Neolithic settlement known as the Atlet Yam. The site covered about 40,000 square meters and was believed to have been built in 7,000 BC. The village was composed of many rectangular houses and a well. Experts believe the well was later abandoned due to animal remains found within. Many archaeological findings on the site claim to be one of the earliest shreds of evidence of pastoral farming. Cool, don't you think? Skeletons found on the site have helped to confirm one of the earliest forms of tuberculosis infection, which could have been one of the reason its inhabitants abandoned the place. Evidence like the stack of fish meant for trade that archaeological divers discovered has also shown that the village was abandoned hurriedly. How such a village survived for so long underwater makes you want to visit the place yourself. What is your favorite find from this list? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.